its energy surrounds us and binds us. What is up, Marvel nerds, and welcome back to Carbonite Combos. If this is your first time joining us, you've just taken your first step into a larger world. And like always, if you are a returning viewer, we can't thank you enough for coming back for another reaction. And tonight is a huge one. This is one of the ones where if you watch any of our videos, we hope it will be this one because tonight will be legendary. It's the season finale of Marvel Studios' What If. And after last week's episode, I... Uh, will most likely piss my pants tonight. Uh, so, you know, before we get into that, Alec, how we doing, buddy? Dude, just like you said, tonight could be legend, wait for it, dairy. Um, <laughs> but, but no, all jokes aside, dude, tonight might change the future of the MCU forever. I know we say that all the time, but phase four has continued to do that throughout every series we've seen thus far this year. I'm ready to get into it. But before we do, always got to throw it out there. Guys, make sure you smash that like button. Drop a comment in the comment section below about what your thoughts were on this episode. Go ahead and give us a follow, guys. We really appreciate the support. You know, it lets us do some cool things. So you're at Carbonite Convos, and we, we greatly appreciate it. Let's just get into it, dude. Yes, sir. So tonight is What If the Watcher Broke His Oath. Uh, so it was a pretty cool teaser. I'm not sure if you've seen it. Usually it does a uh, about a minute-long video about the – you know, about the episode, they do it on social media. Um, but tonight it was just about like 10, 12 seconds. And what it was, was, you know, it had the little TVA screen where it was a different branch of the multiverse. And it said, what if, and then it doesn't say anything. You see the watcher's reflection in it. And then the screen cracks. And then I it did says, not see this. Yeah. It says, what if the watcher broke his oath? I'm getting goosebumps, man. So I am so ready for this last week's what episode was the best by far not only that but we had a ton of star wars references in there so it was it was super cool so i'm i'm very excited for this and i don't think we should make the people wait so how about we get into this hit that thing man all right i am hitting play in three two one wow that's cool captain carter in black widow and crossbones this is like the beginning of captain america the winter soldier mm-hmm Shown in the Quinjet. Yeah, but also infiltrating a pirate ship. Well, her suit kind of looks like the Winter Soldier suit a little bit, too. Yeah. This has the, has the lines on the shoulders. You have been chosen. <laughs> what? What? He's, he's going around now. You have been chosen. This is wild, dude. He's assembling, like, just an epic team. It's melting down the Infinity Gauntlet. Dude, look at that Hulkbuster. What's the dynamic here? Just grabbed him. <laughs> That's a dope name. It's a damn good group, too. What's her deal? I want to know. She replaces Thanos. Yeah, but he, she obviously doesn't have the same morals. Yeah. We don't know that. She might be evil. Well, she wants to destroy the stones. Dude, it, that thing is infected. Not infected, but it's on. Did you see this that tattoo? Oh, it's him. Science. It, yeah, him and Jane got matching ones. Yeah. Bro, I'm a big fan of Goofy Thor. In general, like, funny Thor. Yo, that's dope. That's... <laughs> he got one. Nice. Did you notice his, had, his like, protection had, like, claws? Like, the Black Panther claws? That's cool. <laughs> what? I wonder if he knows the stone is gone. Zombies. The zombies. That's cool. <laughs> What's the deal with the Infinity Stones not working inside? Ooh. <laughs> and not working inside what? Inside, outside of their own dimension. But that's, I don't. I don't think that's I don't, the case. I don't understand the the rules. Behind I don't think them. that's the case. I think they. They just said in Loki that they don't work in the TVA, the TVA not right. in other universes. He just eat the soul stone? What? Dude, is Definitely this just ate the soul stone like a Tic Tac. Is this Doctor Strange's strongest being in the universe? Oh, wait. Why uh, is it on the ground now? That's dope. Did, that's super cool. 
the two shields, dude. That thing's sweet. Yo. They're doing some work right now. He doesn't have time to think, man. Nuh-uh. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Time stone. Where's the watcher? I don't know. He's been, like, doing the teleporting. That's about it. He has a time stone, too. Bro, he looked like he was tapping into other universes right there. I'm sure there's a, a bit of... I'm sure there's a bit of dark magic going on in this. Just a tad. Dude, look at that Doctor Strange. I feel like something's... There's no way it was that easy. Well, no, but I feel like maybe one of them is now the other threat. Hawkeye's last arrow. Yeah. Don't you think that kind of takes it away from Hawkeye? There's no way she hits that from a moving motorcycle midair. As having like, maybe used a bow like once ever. I mean, maybe she is a, a master with a bow as well. I guess we've never really seen it. We're going to see Zola. Oh. Zola. So I wonder if he's going to be another threat as well. That was weird. Well, we're going to see the rest of that. Because the pop shows the eyes glowing blue. Blue, yeah. I was not expecting this. I don't I kind of was. Yo, he looks wild. That ain't good. Uh-uh. Where is the watcher? Yo! Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, I uh, there's, a, sure. there's a post credit. Yeah, I know. All right, so she's back. Hydra Stomper. Okay. So that's Interesting. What, that's what Uatu meant because he he could he knew that was gonna happen. Wow. Okay. I'm exit out of this real quick. Okay. So awesome. Awesome. Dude. To start to start. Yeah. Agreed. I I am confused though. It, About it, what? I'm I'm gonna have to go back and watch it because I still don't understand exactly how they. I know they have them in a. They have him in this pocket dimension mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, so I assume that they're just, you know, the goal wasn't to defeat him. It was just to trap him. Sure. Um, my main my main question is, you know, today we got the big, I don't, I don't know if you'd call it leak rumor or news, whatever. It hasn't been confirmed by Marvel, uh, Marvel Studios or Disney, but there's a big leak rumor, whatever, that – in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, there will be Ultron bots and that they will be led by a character that we already know. So I think if that's true. This, I mean, this based, might have set that up to be I Killmonger. Know, based on you know the past couple episodes, I think it's either Zola leading it mm -hmm. or Killmonger. I, I don't know Ultron anymore, but I still think it there's a possibility it could be Ultron. Well, but yeah. My, go, sorry, my, go ahead. One of my thoughts is that it would be Zola because I think, I don't think Killmonger has a role outside of a Black Panther, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, that kind of uh, movie or series. But Zola, as we've talked about on the podcast, Hydra is always a, reoccur a recurring threat and right now they're they're vanquished but if they are following the comics hydra somehow has to come back and survive so i'm thinking maybe uh zola you know from this pocket universe maybe somehow that is what is leading these ultron bots in multiverse of madness because although he helped them defeat ultron i don't think he's good you know his one goal is the continuation of hydra so with us theorizing that there could be a different doctor strange in spider-man no way home i think that that could tie in with this pocket dimension not staying shut zola getting out this doctor strange entering our universe and zola leading the ultron bots in the sacred timeline still that's the only thing i'm I'm thinking of. Yeah. Wow. Dude, I I'm sorry. I just got to throw this out there. I hope to God that this, whatever they're setting up for multiverse, multiverse of madness isn't too much and it fails. 
You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's happened know. for separate conversation. But that's just what came to my head right away. Dude, you have a great point about, but Zola, man, like, I just think especially, Hydra's especially always going to be there. It, sh- it showed Zola and Ultron both. I don't know if it's in his head or database or however his body works. It's kind of like how vis- uh, how how Ultron he- was talking to Jarvis. Exa- exactly, exactly. It was like in thing. the uh, it was online. You know, it wasn't in person. They were well, no, no. In that one, it was real life. Like they were communicating through. I don't know. I don't know, Data how, you know or I, however it works. I don't, I don't right, right, right. But yeah, man, that's the only way I could see Ultron bots being led. Yeah, I could um, see that. But I want to know what the deal was with that Ultron bot head that Killmonger had. Yeah, because it was like yeah. it was Why? like collecting material and mm-hmm. growing, and it was it was just kind of strange. We still never saw it glow blue. That's why I'm confused. The pop has it glowing blue. Um, and it never glowed my, blue. My guess is like that's a Funko issue. Um, kind of the same thing. You know how the the Black Panther pop uh, from the first movie years ago, it, the Walmart exclusive version was blue. Yeah, maybe it was kind of the same yeah. thing. Um, maybe. Yeah. Um, what else about this episode though? Like, I, I I think that sets up season two, the the post credit scene with Peggy seeing Steve. Right. Uh, I. Uh, just, just seeing the Avengers fight, seeing Cap, hearing the music again, that was that was really cool. I think those are the moments that we're going to continue to get throughout the rest of the MCU to remind us that Cap, Iron Man, you know, they're never gone. Um, right. They're, they're always with us. And those are going to be the little the little hints we get back to them. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I wanted to see a little bit more of the Watcher um in that episode in that episode i, I was kind of confused what his role was maybe he I, was just like maybe he i think I, he's he trying never, not to interfere he never really broke his oath i mean he did because he let people know he was real and he you know collaborated yeah. with a team but he didn't physically do anything the only time he ever physically fought was when he was attacked by ultron yeah, that was last exactly episode. exactly and that's when in his words he didn't know what the hell was going on? So, right. uh, I don't know. I think maybe he just doesn't want to interfere. He doesn't want to break his oath, but to protect the multiverse, he has to. Um, there was something else that happened that I that I just lost that I really wanted to talk about. I can't think of it. I can't think of it. It is interesting to see the dynamic of the Infinity Stones throughout the multiverse. I'm super confused because like I've 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 seen people talking about this plot hole of how the Infinity Stones aren't supposed to work outside of that specific universe and it makes sense because that's where they were formed. That's where they got their powers was from the Big Bang from the stones flying across the, the galaxy. Um, to random locations that they get their power from the universe being created but if then they're if they're put into a different universe they don't have the same power i I don't know i don't understand it but i don't i don't see it as a plot hole because it's never they never said that it's never once been said in the mcu that the infinity stones can't be used outside their uh their universe it's only the only thing that was said was in loki is that they're ineffective there at the TVA, mm-hmm. you know? So the TVA is beyond time, beyond the, I guess, a universe, sure. I guess. So that's the only thing I can, I can see. Like it, they never said that they couldn't work in another universe. So I don't really see it as a plot hole or anything. I see, I see it as if they can work in one universe, they can work in another. They just can't work in the, tva or in the quantum realm something like that you know what's interesting to to me this show seemed like it went really fast and i think that's because and and stay with me here i feel like this was two different shows and by that i mean the first like four episodes were very okay but i felt like once it hit like five it it took a complete turn in the right direction 
And maybe that's because they only did nine episodes. Uh, but I felt like it was a completely different atmosphere, a completely different vibe to the show. And the, like, in my opinion, it was a huge step in the right direction. I think it, to go off of that, I think maybe because the first few, they felt like an individual story mm-hmm. where it had a start, it had an end. Even though there were some cliffhangers, it had a start, it had an end. You move on to, you go from Captain Carter to T'Challa to Star-Lord, um, moving on to, I can't remember which one was after that, but they all, you know, they all ended. But I think what they've done the past few episodes, I'd say, except for the, like maybe the Party Thor episode, mm. is that they gave it linked to the following episode. One thing that I'm confused about is we got a big cliffhanger at the zombies episode with, with Thanos a Thanos and I'm just wondering if that was just something cool now that they threw in that there was Marvel well after the seeing zombie the Thanos. zombies dumped on the Ultron I don't see how they would expand on the zombie universe I don't think anymore. so no I I there have been some rumors about a live action Mar uh Marvel zombies but I don't know how much truth yeah, that sounds there pretty is cool. that Man, but I would love to get into this more on the podcast next week. Yeah, we hundred um, percent so should. How about we call it there? We get this up so people can uh, can watch us geek out, guys. We can't thank you enough for joining us for the season finale of uh, Marvel Studios. What if it was an awesome ride? Uh, you know, we were very fortunate enough to to get some good numbers throughout this series and we we can't thank you guys enough for your feedback for being awesome in the comments and everything we can't thank you enough uh, we're we're very grateful uh, it's been a hell of a ride for season one of what if and we can't wait for season two uh, you can check out some videos coming out uh, either late no sorry uh, later next week uh, we'll be having a podcast episode a pop list we'll uh, I don't know do we have a reaction next week no man i was just thinking no, that wow that kind of sad we can that get this is done. we can get sleep we can get sleep that's facts yep so um you know i'm sure there'll be something to react to the making of what if but either way guys we'll have some fresh new content for you next week but until then may the force be with you remember the force will be with you always <laughs>